This episode covers the second day on the Crinan Canal from Den Audrey to the Sea Lock at Crinan. A bit before Crinan, I was shocked when we crashed into the side of the canal and damaged our propeller. This is a video of my series Adventures with my control yacht White Horse, a Grand Banks 36. Here is a short overview of what you will see. We start our journey at lock number 10 in Dunaudry and sail on to the Crinan Canal in direction to Crinan. Our tour passes first the swing bridge at Bellanoch and then the corresponding marina. We drive further on the canal along Bishy shores and dreamy homes. But just before Crinan, I will tell you from our crash into the sides of the canal. We close the episode at the Sea Lock in Crinan. The route starts at Dunaudry. The weather was partly cloudy with 4 meters per second easterly breeze and 13 degrees centigrade. After having passed locks number 10 to 13 at Dunaudry, there were only two locks left at Crinan. This should have allowed for a very relaxing journey.
The swing bridge at Belanoch is the second bridge on the Crin Canal. It was open at our arrival and we could therefore pass through without waiting time. But there were other boats coming from the opposite direction that had to wait for our passing. Did you like my video so far? Then I would be grateful for you subscribing free of charge to my YouTube channel to help me finance my work. Thank you. Belanoch Marina is quite large and home to up to 40 boats. It is situated at the larger pond of the canal. Only permanent boats can moor here. Visitors have to find berth at the pontoons of the canal. The further drive through the Greenland Canal was quiet and relaxing, but occasionally rain was falling and therefore we could not enjoy sitting on the flybridge.
Nearing Askrinen, the shores on the left hand side got more bushy and green. Some houses came into sight with colorful gardens. Then, not far anymore from the exit of the canal in Grinnell, we crashed into the side of the canal, which at that place was lined with larger angular stones. I was just up on the flybridge to exchange the battery of my camera when it happened, and I was shocked by the sudden stop of the boat. Due to the propeller hitting into the stones, the engine shut off. We had been traveling with only one engine on, therefore the silence was shattering. Anxious, I tried to get the engine to run again, and to my relief was successful. Then I could steer away from the shoreline, still worried whether this hit had damaged parts of the hull or the propeller. Later I would check and find that the propeller had indeed been damaged, while the hull was miraculously not being largely affected. But I was lucky to be able to fix the propeller good enough by myself.
Finally, we reached the last two locks at Grinnen and could exit the sea lock into the loch, leading us to the next marina to our night at Oben. The travel through the sea again and near the shores to Oban will be in the next episode. If you liked this episode, please subscribe free of charge to my YouTube channel using your Gmail account. Thank you for your support. I'm looking forward to you watching my next sailing adventure soon. Goodbye.